Hey everybody, this is Steven, a uh, road collector for YouTube. I've been getting some questions uh, lately on how I care and clean out my scorpion enclosures. So I figured I'd just make a short little video, show you the quick easy steps on uh, the best ways to do it. Um, this is my setup right here. For those who have watched my other videos, I've got a simple little five gallon aquarium. I've just got the black calcium sand, real easy to clean. I would recommend that for desert bark scorpions, Arizona bark scorpions, things like that. Um, the emperor scorpions, of course, you want to use like Eco Earth or uh, the stuff that holds humidity better, but this is a dry climate scorpion, so the sand is perfectly fine. Um, I also just use some aquarium decorations, just rocks, stuff, stuff like this that they can hide around in. Boom, look at that. They love hiding in there little log hide out in with a rock in there just for them to climb around this thing is awesome it's just one big plastic rock I don't like them hiding in it because then I never can get them out unless they want to come out so that's why I always just bury this real deep in the dirt that way they can't climb around and get in there otherwise it'd probably be a good idea but I just try to avoid it. it's easier to keep track um, Let's see here. Now what I want to be doing is I want to clean out the dirt, but first, where's all the scorpions? Oh, here they are. I already took them out for you. Here we go. This is what I got right now. In that five-gallon aquarium, I have 14. We can count them here, too. We got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I thought I had thirteen. I guess I caught one recently and forgot to mark it down. So if you think this guy right here is fighting, actually not. This is actually one of my horniest males, and you can tell he's horny because watch him, he'll start to shake. It's his way of trying to get a girl's attention. He'll grab him. Try and pull them away, but none of my girls are interested right now. See, they're trying to push them away with the tail. You know, no means no. Yeah, there you go. So, you'll go right for another one. Probably go for this girl right here. Yep. It's not that he's hungry. He's just horny. He wants to get his. He wants to get, get you know, his seed laid, which I think most of my girls are already gravid, which is why they're all rejecting him. But that's okay. Um, if you have one. It, you can easily keep them in one of these little critter carriers, piece of cake. Uh, one little one, you put small log, some sort of small water dish. This is just the, uh, the water gel crystals, which is great for these guys too because they can't drown in them. Um, you could use a shallow dish just like this, and all this is is a little sauce dish from Hungry Howie's or Arby's or something like that. I don't remember where I got it, but it's just a small little sauce dish. It's like an inch or so thick. Fits right in the sand. Um, you could get the same container, put some river rock in it, you know, nice and level all the way across, and then just fill it with water, and they'll just crawl on the rocks. But since I need to change this, this will be one of the things I dump out here. That's my dog, Bella, wondering what I'm doing. She likes watching, but she never gets in the way, which is good. So that's one thing to clear out. I always suggest before you actually take something out of an enclosure and actually place it on a table or out of the way, definitely double check to make sure there's still nothing crawling around on it. You just never know. I did that one time. Like I said, I thought there was 13 in here. There was 14 actually. So if I were to have not been paying attention and I took 13 out and took one of these out and then it came crawling across the table, I could have had bad bad moment there trying to catch a scorpion but try and get all the cricket guts out because they like to take them in here and kill them and then the cricket guts all up in the lips but they love these little hawk ride uh, rock hideouts they're just, they're just great and especially direct desert textured and everything they love it so let me just get all this stuff out here and that extra crawling around looks good looks good I don't usually clean these off unless they're really disgusting, uh, but just just that way it leaves some scent trails and everything for them to get used, um, you know, like, like a tarantula, they sense their own pheromones and everything like that, so they really need kind of a, uh, 
a scent for them to recognize that this is their territory. This right here is just a little, little soda cap I fill up with cricket food. So that way, you know, I just throw in one cricket per scorpion. I don't actually tong feed them. I just throw in enough for each scorpion. And, uh, you know, they eventually get to them all. So let's dump that out because that needs changed. All right. Now, for this part here, as you can see, they make a mess. This is, I haven't cleaned it out in about a month. What I do, though, is I don't actually sift out the sand every week, but about once every day or two, I will go in and get like the big cricket carcasses that they don't eat. You know, I'll go in and grab them with a pair of pliers and at least get those out. Uh, just how it keeps mites, mold, and things like that from infesting my scorpions. But, you know, other than that, the little parts are fine. It just lets them know. It's, it's Like I said, it's kind of like let them having a sense of welcome to home. You know, they're very comfortable in here. I don't have any fighting, but, you know, as you saw, these guys, they're kind of irritated in this little spot because there's 13, uh, 14 of them in one little area. So kind of getting a little crowded. All right, next up here is I'm gonna go ahead and sift out the sand real easy. I've just got one of those reptile sifters. You can get them at any pet store, piece of cake. Um, I think I paid like six, seven bucks for it. So I just go through. It doesn't get everything, but it will get, see like all the flakes, all the cricket parts, which is fine. Um, the little pieces of cricket poop, those are fine to leave behind. Uh, I've never had a problem with any mold or anything from those. And it just lets the scorpions know that there is always going to be a source of food. Uh, if scorpions sense that there's no prey item around, then that's when they become cannibalistic. So as long as you give them a sense that, okay, you know, there's poop in the sand, then they know that there will always be food in this area, so they won't eat each other. I just do each little side, go all the way across here. Check it out good. See, just cricket parts. Just get all the parts, cricket food, things like that out. Legs, wings, the exoskeletons left behind. They usually do a pretty good job of pretty much eating all of it, depending on how hungry they are. I only feed them about once a week. I give them each an adult-sized cricket. Um, that lasts them easily a week. I would go ahead and do a feeding, feeding video right now, but they just ate a couple days ago. If I put them in there, they'll just reject them. They won't eat them. They're not opportunistic like some people think they are. Desert bark, the uh, Arizona bark scorpion is quite used to going weeks, even months, without a single prey item. So they're, they're, not, they're not quick to eat. Once, once they've had their share, they're done for a while. So let me just do a couple more of this here, and I think that'll be about it. Yep, looks alright. Don't see any more parts. Cool. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Just make sure it's you know nice and nice and flat, covers the whole bottom. They don't like touching the glass. I mean they'll touch the sides of the glass, but if they're on the bottom of the glass, it kind of freaks them out a little bit. And what I do is I just put everything back where it was. I never really change it up because scorpions are pretty much just uh, they like to stay pretty consistent with the way they do things. Oops, forgot their little rock. Put this here just at the entrance. Gives them, you know, just something else to do. Keeps them from. I don't know why. I don't think it makes a difference, but a little decoration doesn't help, doesn't hurt. All right, then we'll put this thing back in here. I guess I get this nice and deep in there so that way they don't crawl around and. Get in that hole. That's, that's one thing I don't want is for them to get in there because then I'll lose track of them. That should do. And everyone says these things are burrowers. I have never seen one try and burrow into the sand. They, they simply, if there's hiding spots available, they take it and they will even 
before I got like this rock for them to crawl around in and that, I had about 10 of them in this little critter keeper with just this and they would all hide in there on top of each other, cram pack, they didn't care. So they're not, they're not too terribly picky. All right. Okay, everything's off there. Make sure there's plenty of room. I like to leave plenty of like walk canals for them to go around. They like to stay close to edges and stuff, so give them small little channel ways. They'll, they'll walk around everywhere. If, if they have wide open spots, you will never see them in there. So you might see one right around here, but that's just because it's sticking out, you know, trying to catch something to eat. Other than that, when they walk around, they will stay within tight little channels. Give them small little areas to walk around or things to climb on so that way they feel secure like they're off the ground. Um, these things are desert, but they, they are kind of arboreal. They like to climb up at least three or four feet up off the ground. That way they can catch... Um, more variety of prey items. Now, let's see here. This is just my my gel stuff here. This is uh, pre-made stuff. I, I don't buy that stuff in the store. It's rip-off. What I do is I go to like Walmart, go to the the uh, garden center and you can buy the gel crystals already just the crystals themselves you just add water to them and that right there is just excellent and I think that is actually a little too wet for them I want just the crystals That might be all right. They should be all right climbing around on it. Well, other than that, that's pretty much it. And then uh, I'm going to cut this one a little short here. I'm running up to about 12 minutes. Um, what I'll do is I'll finish filling that up. Um, just a little cap here. Here's, here's my bag of cricket food. Like I said, I always like to keep a little cap of that in there. So what I'll do is I'll fill this up, fill that, put it in here, and then uh, go ahead and set it all back up and then I'll show you how I take these guys and move them over um, so yeah uh, let me just take care of that and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the rest here alright